Guys, today we're in Epcot. And today we are doing Disney on a budget again. We have selected Epcot to be the park that we do it on. And you guys have given us $40. And I'm pretty much adamant we're going to make this work today. So we're actually starting this vlog off with a dining reservation in San Angel. Now San Angel is a first for this channel. I've actually never eaten in here before. You only live once though, <laughs> so we might as well. Right, so we've actually been sat down at our table and look at that. How awesome is that? So guys, this is the menu. Pause the video at any point if you want to see it. This is um, obviously on my phone because we're doing phone menus currently at the moment. You can ask for a paper menu as well if you don't have a phone. So just pause this at any point if you want to to see it. It's quite a, it's quite a good menu to be honest. Apologies about the lightning here. As you can see, it's really really dark. <laughs> now I can confirm it is very very hot outside. And to be honest, again, I'm quite pleased we're in this restaurant. One of the reasons being is firstly it's air conned and it's covered away from the sun. However, me and Ben have forty dollars each for today's budget. So there's a method to my madness. Now I'm not going to be in control of Ben's budget. That is up to him. But I really want this forty dollars to work for me. So what I'm going to do is something I have never done in this channel's, channel's history ever before. Now for $6 on this menu, you can get corn tortillas with white cheddar cheese in salsa. And basically what that is, is just like Dorito chips with dips. A bit like what you would get at the cinema if you were ordering, you know, nachos sort of thing. Now that is $6. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order that and I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna ask the server, obviously I'll let you know what she says, I'm gonna ask the server if it's possible to just have that first and then if I'm still hungry after that, then maybe order a main. But I honestly think I'm gonna be full from the start and if I'm able to do that, that means I've saved a fortune and, and, and like I say, it's six dollars, so I'm gonna give it a go. We'll see what happens. And guys, look, the starters have arrived and this is the six dollars tortilla chips. Me and Ben have actually got one each. I've said to him, there's no way we're going to need mains. No way. Look at how many that is. That is a huge portion. And honestly, this is why I'm so pleased I'm doing these vlogs. Because it's been like an eye opener for me and Ben. Right, here we go. Welcome to a brand new vlog, guys. And do you know what that cheese tastes like? Audien, Aud, no, Audien nachos. Do you know if you love nachos from the cinema? I don't know if they're what they're like in the States, but in the UK, you're gonna love that. That is literally natural cheese, like, oh. Honestly, we've just got out of San Angel, and I have never been so happy with myself. Me and Ben spent a total, with tip, we spent a total of $6.51 with our DVC discount. We both left a 20% tip. Oh yeah, you spent 70, you left a bit more of a tip, because um, he paid in, <laughs> he paid with uh, dollars. He put, poor, poor lady, he gave her a $100 bill for a six dollar meal <laughs> yeah it's all he had he's paying in cash he's not well he was using his card but then he's, he's run out of cash on the card so now he's using now he's using physical cash so yeah i'm really pleased because me and ben have a total of 33 dollars each left it's it should be like 34 dollars and a couple of cents but we're just going to knock it down to 33 because yeah it's just it's a lot easier for editing and just a quick one as well in regards to obviously my saving tips you know it sometimes take over a pinch of salt some of you might watch this and go really i wouldn't sit in san angel and just eat nachos and i think that's the thing like it's really hard doing disney on a budget because you can't really cater for everyone because there's going to be some people that'll watch this and think no that's not a holiday and then there'll be some that'll be like oh actually i really i will do that myself so that's the thing guys like <laughs> just take things with a pinch of salt and i tell you them nachos had a lot of salt on them just a quick one as well, if me and Ben spend over the budget, I'll always tell you the reason where we went wrong, or how we went wrong. A bit like when that first day in Magic Kingdom, 
ages and ages ago when we did Genie Plus, which just went live today actually. And you guys have been so supportive for these vlogs. But yeah, literally I told you like I should never have ate a Cosmic Race. It was just such a waste of money. And yeah. But then others might watch us and go, well actually I love Cosmic Race. It's one of them things. It's very you know, everyone's gonna have different experiences in different places, and everyone's budgets are gonna be different from others. Oh, look who we found again. You may remember him from one of the earlier vlogs. Still doesn't like us. And you may notice, actually, some of the barges look like they've moved, actually. For some reason, they used to be over here, and they actually moved down to there, unless I'm just seeing things, Cardinals. And we're now gonna head over to Remy. However, before we head to Remy, we are heading into the UK pavilion, and honestly, this pavilion always makes me laugh. It's just like, I just I just think like, yeah, it's, it's very what, I don't know, it's very like what the UK is not like, but like maybe if you went down maybe to Yorkshire or something, but again, I don't know, it's very, it's very old school UK. And it's just these phone boxes as well, I just, I just find it all so funny. Ben can't stop laughing about the Rose and Crown, he was like, if they're going to pick a more stereotypical name, that's what it'll be called, because Ben says there's restaurants, at eh, restaurants, bars by him called the Rose and Crown, which he drinks in. And there's the fish and chip shop. However, do you want to know a very unpopular opinion? I know it's classed as like, it's a famous, yeah, it's far from famous, honestly. It was, I remember the last time I ate there, it was so greasy, I literally probably could have filled a pint glass with just the grease. Do you know what they're missing? You ready for this? Do you know what they're missing in this pavilion? A black cloud, rain. Funny thing, Ben was on the phone to his dad earlier, and his dad had said that what was he? What was he sunbathing in the garden or something? He said it's really hot in the UK, scorching. Doesn't know what he's gonna do. He said 16 degrees. <laughs> it's like 30 today. Like honestly, our aircon doesn't go below 16. <laughs> like that's how like cold it is in the UK right now. That's the thing. Like when you're in Florida, the heat really, really hits you. And here we go. We're coming into Paris. And here we go. We're coming down to the right now. I am so excited for this. This is my first time. I didn't get to go on this in November. Didn't get to go on this in January. So this is my first time, first for the channel. And it really will be interesting to see the main differences between this and the one at Paris. Honestly, I've just said to Ben, what I've just realized like immediately is it literally looks like Paris. I know that sounds really silly, but like, if like I close my eyes and I woke up, I think I was in Paris. But like, you know, and what I mean by Paris, I mean like Disneyland Paris, it looks like the Paris ride. And I think that's the thing. I think this is like a carbon copy of the Paris ride. But to be honest, I haven't really heard much about this ride, like apart from like a few other vlogger friends who have been on and said like it's like Paris 2.0 sort of thing where it's like it's got a few extra features. This one? Oh, I hope Chef Remy's waiting. There's Remy. Wow, it looks I always never get how they've done that with a fridge because that just looks unreal. Oh my god, don't turn the oven on! Just a quick one guys, I have some thoughts. When I heard from other people saying it was like a carbon copy of Paris, I actually didn't expect it to be Paris carbon copy. Like I just, the only thing I noticed about the right compared to Paris is there was a little bit of more swaying. But other than that, it was literally the same. And I was just saying to Ben, I just, for, you know, it, it's such, I just feel like it's such a big cue for that ride, where if someone was gonna be completely honest with me and said to me right now, is it worth waiting in the queue for two hours? I would actually just, I would actually say no. And it's just such a shame. I just, I just like, I don't know, it's been such a long time between the Paris ride and this ride. And I would have thought that Disney might have just put a little bit more into it, you know what I mean? Just with it being such a long time between the Paris version and this version. I don't know. Maybe I'm having an off day. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you've been on it. I don't know, I was just a bit disappointed. Right, it's now that time. Celebrationary sip time. At my favourite place, guess, Joffrey's. Oh, as well, guys, upon reflection, I feel like I might give Ratatouille a little bit of a hard time. Just talking to Ben. At the end of the day, I would say that I've been on the one in Paris. For people that have not been the one in Paris, they would get on that and they would love it. And I think that's the thing, because I've done the one so many times in Paris, I just expected this one to be a little bit better. I don't know. I may have given it a bit of a hard time. Oh, look how good it looks. It'd be interesting to see if Ben likes it, because he hated the one he got yesterday, the green tea one. Guys, these cost 6 99 Ben, do you know what the maths is, if you discount what we've had already? 
So that'd be seven dollars. So we had we had thirty. Oh my god, Dan just future Dan just do the maths. <laughs> so this cost seven dollars. It was a bit cheap out because we got discount, but we're gonna just just record the discount just for easy maths purposes because it was like something like five dollars something. Right, next ride is Mission Space, and we're gonna do the green monks. It's ten minutes. That one's fifty. Working together as a team. I'll be your Capcom, and in a few minutes, I'll give you your specific assignments. But first, our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Lieutenant? And here we go. We are ready for some claustrophobia. Mission Control wish you a safe journey I hope around so. the planet. Right, so we're having a bit of an issue, so we're coming in for an emergency landing. Now. Oh, hit your buttons. Engineer, extend wing for gliding. Okay. Now. Oh. Do you know, firstly, ride was awesome. Only waited 10 minutes, which was fine. We actually have Ben's DAS Pass now for, for soaring, so we're just heading towards that. But honestly, as we've just came out of there, the sun is just glowing, <laughs> glowing in the face. It's been 30 degrees today. It's the hottest I've experienced Florida in a long time, because when me and Nathan came out in November, it was about mid 20s, low 20s, which was awesome. It was perfect weather. I'll never forget though, Nathan, saying he was struggling when we're out in <laughs> Disney in November with low 20s. Tell you, it's been a lot hotter this time. Next stop is the land. And as you can see, it's currently half six, and I thought as much, I thought it would be busy. The reason why it's busy is because it's like 29 degrees outside and it's half six. Now it's time for, do you know what? One of my favorite rides. I actually can't believe I'm saying that because I used to never really get it, but Soren. <laughs> And we've literally just came out of the land and it's actually perfect it's always lovely because the sun has just gone down and the temperature honestly the temperature difference when we walked into the land like an hour ago it was so warm and now it's like well it's quarter to eight and the temperature honestly i reckon it's went down at least seven or eight degrees and it's just perfect now it really really is just perfect right next ride is finding nemo now honestly such an amazing ride Ben's gonna love it, and then they've also got the Sea Life Center on the other side as well, which we'll also visit. If you're a fan of Finding Nemo, you're gonna love this. Like, Nemo is like one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dory. <laughs> if you're not a fan of sharks, kids, look away now. And if you don't like great whites, don't look, uh, well, don't look. <laughs> It's too late, obviously, because it's right in front of your face. And as you can see right ahead, guys, is a dolphin. Wow. What a lush day we have had. It has just been unbelievable. Deep God, I feel like I want to cry. That is just unbelievable. Wow. Well guys, it's quarter past eight and that is us leaving the park. We've been here for seven and a half hours and yeah. But ben, how much have we actually got done? Oh my God, look at that. Doesn't feel right leaving the park. I've just said to Ben, we have not managed to get around the world. We actually haven't went around the world. We visited France, we visited the United Kingdom and we visited Mexico. And Ben was just saying he really wants to buy some sweets from either the Japanese pavilion or the China pavilion, but unfortunately, we've got a dining reservation at 20 past nine at Ohana. Now, that's one of the things when you've got dining reservations in these parks, they kind of restrict you, do you know what I mean? Because we we want to go and go around the world, but like we're out of time, and I suppose that's one of them things. And we're actually going to be getting the monorail to Ohana. Now, I know for like, obviously, we're only doing the park budgets while we're in the park, now I know for a fine fact we have massively spent under budget 
and I do blame that on being one, we've only spent seven and a half hours in the park, and secondly, we haven't had, we haven't actually went around the world. Now, I had said to Ben when we were given the forty dollar budget from Instagram from you guys who selected it, I had said to Ben. We probably will not spend the $40 budget each because obviously that is the plan to try and keep under it. But I think the reason why we are so far away from spending it was because we didn't go around the world. Like I say, Ben would have had tried loads of snacks in China, Japan. I would have tried the Germany stuff. I wanted to buy a bit of merchandise as well. But do you know what? We've saved the money and that is a good thing. I like saving money. Quick one as well, we actually never planned on eating at Ohana. What actually happened was, is this morning, we were just scrolling around my Disney experience and then it just popped up. And honestly, if you see Ohana pop up on your my Disney experience app and you want to eat there, book it. I literally said to Ben, right, I'm not joking, it's been so many times in the past where it's came available and even before I've literally rushed to book it in and before I've been able to book it in it's gone so I, I honestly I was sitting there with Ben like come on come on come on Lord is that ball just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning anyway we got it in perfect timing the monorail has arrived right we well, yeah finally Ohana I have been so excited there's a cheese moment coming switch off now if you don't like cheesy content but I don't care honestly I really don't like when I'm sitting here and, I've, and me and Ben have just had the best time. Like, we're near the end of the holiday now. There's only about two or three more vlogs left. And when I'm sitting in here, in, in Ohana, one of my favorite restaurants, just had the most magical day. Busy day, but magical. Just gives you this nice, nice like, fluffy feel inside. And yeah, makes you a bit emotional. Sometimes I hate, like, saying that because it's just a bit cheesy, but it's true. And, you know, that's what these vlogs are for. They're an honest representation of the holiday. And it's been an amazing holiday. It's been hot, busy, but amazing. So I'm gonna try and get this right. We've got chicken here with some mint sauce on, which I remember Nathan raving about. Shrimp, which anyone who knows me knows I love. We've got some noodles, some broccoli, some pop sockets and chicken. And then we've got some steak. Which, here we go, shrimp. Apologies, I'm a huge shrimp fiend. I love shrimp. It's honestly just unbelievable. Mm. Honestly, I feel like I am ready to explode. <laughs> That's the thing when you come in these places, you're like, e do you know, right? You, you don't come to Ohana to be good. Do you know what? I've got some friends who came in here recently, and it was so funny. They were like, oh, we came in Ohana, but we didn't actually eat a lot, so we could go to the parks after. I don't know how anyone could go to the park after Ohana. The only thing I'm going to is bed, honestly. I even said to Ben, I don't even know I can walk back to the monorail. We might have to get an Uber. And here is the final <laughs> course. Should I say the final? It might be the final time you see me because I think I'm going to explode after this. Right, taste test. Guys, I'm going to blow. I'm literally going to explode. Oh. It's like pineapple y, coconut y, ice creamy, coconut y. I'm just making words up. Everyone knows I just make up my own words. Good morning. My mouth is so dry from that food from last night. Like, no joke, this top is so tight now. I don't know what it was, but the shrimp felt like it had like so much salt on it. It was untrue. But anyway, guys, welcome back to a new morning. And welcome back to the end. And why am I saying welcome back? It's the same video. It's been a long holiday. But no, honestly, Ohana was so nice last night. It was just honestly, Ohana is one of them places. If you manage to get a dining reservation and it's within budget, get it booked because it, for my, in my opinion, it's definitely one of the best family style restaurants on property by far. Anyways, let's reflect over yesterday. So yesterday I asked my Instagram followers to pick a budget. I gave them an option of $20, $30 or $40. And I think it was 41% of the vote picked $40, $40. Now that is $40 per person. Now honestly, $40 per person in Epcot, I think if you're not buying merch, 
and you're not planning on eating a lot around the world, I think it's easily doable. Now, honestly, when we got the $40, I was thinking to myself, I said this to Ben, I said, I think we're going to be fine with this. And obviously, generally when I come to Disney, I obviously have a budget. It's not unlimited amount of cash. So obviously we're on a budget when, when, when we do these trips anyway. And I would probably say, generally in like Epcot, I probably would spend less than $40 anyway. Now, unlike when we were in Magic Kingdom, when we did the $40, we didn't buy Genie Plus. If we had a bought Genie Plus, it would have eaten massively into our budget, taking out more, you know, taking out quite a lot. However though, even if we had have took Genie Plus out of the budget, I still think we would have been fine. Anyways, future Dan right now <laughs> is going to put the total that me and Ben spent each yesterday right there. And I know, and I know we're under budget. Now, a quick one again. This saving, these saving tips is all about being in the parks and trying to keep under budget. Now, I've tried to like include evening meals in it. Now, if you included Ohana, well, we're over budget. Ohana's $55 per person. Way over budget, obviously. And again, with this series, please don't think that you have to do the things I did. Please don't think that I'm saying that's what you should do. Honestly, you come here and you just have the best time ever. You just come out here and you do whatever you want to do. I get asked all the time, actually, been trying to respond to some of my DMs on Insta this morning, and a lot of people are asking, like, what would you recommend for this? What would you recommend for that? It's really hard for me to give recommendations because there's certain things I'm going to say to you, or I could say to you, that would be like, oh, well, I like that, though, or I don't want to do that. And that's the thing, I think, with Disney vlogs, I think sometimes... It's good to watch other people's vlogs, but remember that you're coming on your holiday and from the Disney vlogs you pick the things that you want to do and you don't want to do and if you don't want to be sitting in San Angel on your once in a lifetime trip eating some nachos, you do you, you don't eat them nachos, you have that big bloody steak because honestly it looked amazing, <laughs> it looked so good and if you want to go around the world and buy merch and eat all the little snacks you do that, it's your trip, you have the best time and it's so exciting honestly just doing these vlogs and just try and, and helping in a very little small way honestly if you guys come out here and you think well I'm not going to do that but I'm going to do this because I know this and, and that and it's because of you know other vloggers or myself helping you then you know that's job done and, and that's what this is all about for me anyway honestly the only reason why I started doing these vlogs was to spread a little bit of positivity and to help with 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 whatever you know Disney or planning things like that if you like this video smash that like button and if you haven't clicked subscribe so uh, why do I do that all the time I can never get subscribe out and if you haven't clicked subscribe already click that subscribe button again I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. We've had a lot of new Patreons recently. And honestly, you guys help me out so much. And I really, really appreciate it. If you'd be interested in Patreon, the link is below. No pressure at all, guys. The link is below. Click on it if you will. And I believe YouTube is telling you this should be the next video you click on. However, before you click on that video, let me know how you're doing in the comments. And make sure you click on next week's video. Because me and Ben are heading to Animal Kingdom to become wilderness explorers. And I bet you're thinking, wilderness explorer, what do you mean by that? Make sure you watch next week, because I bet you any money it's gonna be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and I'm excited, it's gonna be such a cool day. Anyway guys, thank you so much and enjoy your weeks, bye.